Infinite Unify can also be used to correct influences from the environment. So for this example, provided to us by Shauna Dowling, we have this portrait shot outside. And you can see clearly here that there is actually a green color cast, which is applied to the skin because of the trees. Well, this is a really good example on how to quickly fix that with Infinite Unify. Before I go into anything, make sure you visit infinite-tools.com, which is linked in the description as well, to see how these settings and tools can each be understood and used so that you're not confused in case you miss something. Because there's a lot of functionality here and other examples and videos on how I fix some other things as well. So check that out. Okay, so one thing that I do want to do first, before hitting create, let's come down here to our settings. I'm going to change my blend mode to hue. And the reason why I want to change it to H instead of say like C for color is because the hue blend mode makes sure that if you like the saturation of the skin as it is, but you just want to shift the color from green to red, it makes it super easy to do. You don't have to worry about that. Next, I'm going to click on this mask option, which is basically a black mask and it's going to allow you to paint manually. Then I'm going to hit um, create. And then automatically it kind of determines what the skin samples are right here, which is nice. And then that's it. Then I'm going to click on my mask here. I'm going to click on my brush. Then I'm going to use a 10% flow and 0% hardness and 100% opacity. And just like that, I am just going to be brushing in these skin tones. And suddenly I actually don't have a color cast anymore. I think that's pretty cool. And considering how easy that was, it saves me a lot and without having to really think about it, which is really, really nice. If that doesn't really work for you and you want to go further, you can. Um, I like to keep a little bit of naturalness there. I can also change it to, say, the color blend mode by clicking on it until it gets to C, if you want to change the saturation as well as the, the tone of the skin. So that way, the saturation kind of matches these colors here. And that's pretty much it. It shouldn't make too much of a difference in terms of whether you go for hue or saturation at, at this point in the in the process because you're just generally evening out um, different color tones. And then you can go across the image if you want to and kind of paint that in. You'll notice that my opacity of my layers are at 47% because you can manually save um, the set as standard, which means that Whatever opacity you like, if you like 47%, you can click on this and say set as standard, and then it automatically just fixes whatever um, or, or keeps the opacity of whatever you set this to going forward for any other uh, Unify adjustments that get added. But again, I am going to just bump this up a little bit more, say 100%, so you can see how it kind of fixes everything. Let me just go back down to hue. I think it did a better job here. It didn't oversaturate some of these areas in the hair. So that's pretty much it. I just said create, made sure that these settings were on, hue and mask. I brought the opacity to 100 and I just kind of brushed brushed it in and it just fixed the, the color cast just like that. And then I went across, say other parts like of the shoulder maybe if I wanted to and maybe some of the neck if I wanted to. Um, but that's it really. And then it kind of just fixed itself. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Again, check out the website if you want to see other tutorials. And if you forgot all those links, just look at the description of this video, which has all the content that you're looking for.